Finally, finally, finally! Now, of course, we're back with another Pokemon video. Journey's back up, of course, with the um, Japanese dub and stuff like that. Um, it had been about like at least two weeks I did the Iris and Dragonite video, so I'll link somewhere around me. I don't know when we go about this video, so yeah. This is kind of what I'm going to and go over the episode, because actually it seems pretty good though. And then later on, I don't know. I feel like maybe I expected more in the episode. In my opinion, I feel like I really expect a lot more to happen. Like, you know, as we connected with Pokemon and stuff like that, I feel like maybe that should have been a little bit more bigger, but at the same time, it's also like, um, I kind of expected a lot more, but at the same time, maybe our expectations were, expectations were a little bit too high. Maybe, I don't know how I'm going to structure this episode, so, yeah. That's what I get at the end of the day. We did get all our Pokemon back, but we kind of got that back in, like, um, Advance, the Advance series when they re kind of, you know, do all that Pokemon again, like all those kids, uh, Johto and Elmo Pokemon. Um, we kind of already got that moment already, though, so this episode feels really good because we haven't seen a lot of those Pokemon in like years. Probably almost since the episode. They made a few cameos and, like, you know, of course, little, little stuff like that. Again, cameos, like, you know, other little promotional stuff. So, yeah. Um, I like Corefish, Corefish and Toho mainly because I think they're back in, like, Alola. I think some people, people mentioned that already. So, yeah. Of course, the episode starts out with Ash and Go, of course, going back to Kento to see Professor Oak. Um, we're still doing a new project called Project New York, I believe. That's um, what the kind of episode's kind of talking about. Of course, this is part of the first part where Go shows off, um, of course, the Pokedex and stuff like that, of course, too. To go with stuff like that, uh, go show the Pokedex to Professor Oak, you know. Then, of course, you know, them going over the project, new kind of part that's gonna come up, so of course, Go can be excited about it, but he doesn't want other people, of course, you know, seeing you besides him, you know, Go wants to catch it, stuff like that, of course. Of course, he's gonna be super shy and messing with about it, you know, other people doing it before him, but again, this is Go, you know, he wants to do it, then, of course. So, yeah, of course, Go's so messed up and sad about it, though. Um, that kind of is like the episode that going, that's, that's kind of like Go's conflict with this episode, like, kind of, kind of going back and forth. This is my first time ever working, working, working like actually we're going over it. I'm not going in detail like the Iris episode though, but whatever. Um but yeah, then of course, you know, we see um Al Ash running out to his Pokemon mention, he has all his Pokemon, ready to go see him. And see, we also see Bulbasaur and Charizard, just kind of randomly out of the blue. Of course, we start, we start to see all the other Pokemon, which is quite out. We see Crocodile, Pig Knight, Corefish, we see Kolava, um, Storlax, Talonflame, Wyvern, um, Heracross, let me see, um, Bayleaf. Weasel, I said to die with Fan. Yeah, like all those Kento, Johto, Pokemon. It's more like I think I mentioned some of that Ashwats there too. Um, again, I feel like Ash has more, but maybe I think it's Oh Halucha. Um, I think there's kind of like, I feel like there may be, I feel like, oh, that's probably why I feel like that. Because I think, I'm like, oh, all Ash Pokemon should be in this episode though. But yeah, it's cool to see Charizard back here. Because I thought he was in Johto training in the Charizard Pacific Valley. But I do gotta remember when Unifa came around, he did bring him back. But I didn't expect him to stay. Um, and then he went back to Charizard Pacific Valley because he just kind of vanished off screen a little bit though so i was kind of wondering that i was like okay that's kind of weird but yeah of course our stores come through and of course muck um picks them up and saves them then of course muck falls in the hook though so of course it's great to see all ash and come back and stuff like that and as also mentioned i believe he um um doesn't see like infernape around him or i think um professor Oak just mentioned infernape isn't like here and stuff like that um they're turning off on his own or whatever but um go just mentioned like um who's like in front of and stuff like that you know we see get a little cinema reference right there which actually looks really cool again it's cool journey's bringing back all these kind of like little moments from the anime slash series kind of bringing them back we're telling them we saw it with the iris episode we see it with this episode with the seno uh, when i first saw this i did not expect this act at all actually so i was like oh my god it's a seno reference wow another one's gonna pop up later too i was like oh my gosh that's actually kind of good though so i kind of like that and of course go on um, actually mentions like you know um, going for us oh trying to just go back and forth seeing what my um you know could be doing or whatever but it seems like in front of training with all the other fire types like lava and um and charizard which makes sense so maybe he just went on for like a better challenge i just want to go train somewhere else so of course go and i'm actually going to come investigate of course oh my like you know up and down to get um um, get it, um, yeah, hopefully we'll, um, get it and stuff like that. Of course, they see kind of like a flame, like, head, but, um, Go just points out, like, a Pidgey, not, um, um, not for a piece of life. Of course, at, uh, for an ape. So, of course, Ash kind of, like, a little bit, because I think it's a spirit rope. Um, okay, I, I don't know, they all look kind of something. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, of course, Ash is super depressed. He didn't find it, though, but of course, the um, Pokeball kind of, you know, flops out and stuff like that. Of course, Go catches it. Then, of course, just out of, no, out of the blue, Sonic just comes up. It's like, oh, hey, how you doing? So, yeah. I guess like in their, I guess Ash and Garden are there in their in its territory space. Do you see a random like kind of like hydrophone come out of nowhere, just steamed up and stuff like that? This is just a random blastoids, just out of the blue. And of course we see Gary come back. So yeah, he is taking up more of his blue slash you know journey design. So yeah, I feel like Gary was mainly based on blue anyway though. So that makes sense and stuff like that. But yeah, it seems like he has his own. I think because this is already leaked anyway. Um, 
he um, has like numerous like you know Pokemon Master slash blue design. Um, good actually did actually watch Pokemon Origins, and he kind of had blue design there. And of course, blue, again, blue is first. I guess Gareth was on blue, and that makes sense. But it's more the EX kind of counterpart though, so of course they're gonna bring that back in the anime. Um, mostly nice though. It's, it's weird the sign of Musa because we haven't seen Gary in since Senel, so of course it can be a little bit weird. Of course, going on. Okay, so um, Gary X starts on pet on preview stuff, but that seems like he likes him though, of course. And um, we just get another flashback right here with Ash, like of course when Gary first started his journey over Ashes, and of course you know seeing how the rivals and stuff like that. You know, typical rival talk and stuff like that, of course. I think Gary just mentioned he's on the Project New Park as well, though. So a whole Project New thing, of course. Ash and go like really catch up with stuff like that. Of course, go super nervous about you know being like Ash's past companions and stuff like that. And Gary explains why he's kind of here to hunt more trace. That's what play his episode. And they get like a fire, like kind of like it's not it's not the Rainbow Wings, like a fire. Um, wing for like Evil Trace or whatever. I think for the Project New York. I think I believe that. And of course, they try to search for Infernape and stuff like that. And of course, they even mentioned like the whole Paul fire right here, too. So, it's like, I, I, when I first saw it, I was like, wow, that's actually really, really good. They call back to the Paul fight. So, I was like, okay, that's actually really, really good. Then, of course, right here, of course, um, they start to, um, um Gary does kind of like, you know, um, gets idea in a certain area, so whatever, of course. You know, then Go gets kind of like Loki kind of jealous, though. Um, you know, again, it's typical kind of stuff right here, though, so yeah. Um, of course, after that, we see, um, you know, them traveling the lens, going through everything, so of course, they're super tired now, and worn out, of course. Um, then, of course, I think Go gets like another kind of idea or whatever. Um, like, you know, kind of find Moltres and stuff like that, of course, Go and um, Gary go back and forth trying to find the different method methods of getting mold trace and stuff like that. Of course, going like the environment, flowers, just all that different stuff. And maybe like if Brian came up here to train, we'll just get another moment of peace. Maybe it just can even like do it, not do it, but maybe it can just, you know, kind of just focus where it was or whatever. So, of course, they all just go back and forth with some ideas. Then if Brian pops up, you um, see the Ash is super excited about it. Um, again, though, I think I'm afraid to maybe just heard about mold trace or thought mold trace is like kind of moisture in the air or whatever, though. So maybe, um, of course, in front of maybe we to go challenge it, so um, that's the whole big idea, though. So that's actually really cool. Again, we got another talent flame moment. So, yeah, we can talent flame the Reeler and Brave Bird again and just come up here and be like, hey, I'm the time to shine here. So, yeah, and of course, um, Ash, Gary, and of course, go do the Brave Battle. Of course, then, of course, Ash uses the friendly, which is actually really cool. Very sort of a flamethrower. Of course, Moltres is going to block it being legendary and stuff like that, of course. Goes going with his explanations on how, like, you know, do a Moltres. Um, Ash and um, Chris and Frank go back and forth between it. Of course, Frank, Frank and Frank are actually super excited about the battle. Of course, it gets hurt a little bit though. Of course, Go brings out on um, Blastoise, tried to, um, you know, kind of, um, you know, trying to even the odds and stuff like that. Then, of course, um, Moltres overpowers it. His rep has been to um, go out there really um, to get out the um, its flames really quick. And, of course, Moltres, um, you know, sees it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, of course, Ashen and I prefer to become a little bit off guard a little bit. And, of course, Moltres does a really big, just AoE attack and stuff like that, of course. I think I'm um, also trying to block it with this, um, yeah, I never saw this before. This animation is actually really good for this episode. Um, it, it kind of busts in with this um, hydro pump, but of course, unfortunately, um, I think uh, I think it's just way too much for Blastoise. Of course, um, the gang cursed the air, and then uh, Blastoise tries to get um, back up and try to defend itself, but then it gets kind of knocked out. Though. So of course, the Moltres charges in. Go calls out Center Race. Uses um a um Ace Bird. Ace Bird. Eh. Uses um um Blaze Kick. And of course, Ash and Gary get the idea to do a combination attack with Electivire and being Gary's using Thunder and um, Pikachu using Thunderbolt. Ash and Pikachu using Thunderbolt. Uh, kind of like, you know, applied the attacks together so make sure it doesn't hit. Of course, Go is the big distraction for the main point. And of course, Moltres flies off. Um, just, again, just Moltres flies off. Of course, Gary gets the Fire Ring. Um, Fire Wing that uh, he really wanted for the Project New York, though, of course. And of course, Go, you know, it's just, you know, being confused and the <laughs> difficult stuff. Then Corviknight comes up and he actually delivers something to um, Galar, which again makes sense and stuff like that. Um, then, of course, um, everybody's excited they found a friend and stuff like that. Glad to be back at home and stuff like that. Adds to his story. Of course, Gary's texting the people from the Project New York going up. Um, makes sense, Gary would be a big thing because he's a big researcher himself, though, so it makes sense. Of course, Ash would go who he's talking to. Of course, he's from the Project New York. And of course, um, Gary's just more interested in Go as Go, um, you know. Uh, on Dreadzone, uh, stuff like that, I guess, kind of reminded him, him of Gary, reminding him of Go, and stuff like that, you know, when he first started out. Of course, he wishes him luck at Ash and Go, uh, uh, Ash and um, Gary kind of, um, uh, a mix of Go and Ash. Um, Ash and Gary kind of found, um, get new connections as we rebound, rebound for each other, you know, kind of like a you know, friendship kind of moment and stuff like that. So, yeah, of course, Gary walks off right into the sunset. Of course, Go's gonna be more encouraged to find me by himself so he can catch it himself. 
of course, and that's how the episode kind of just ends kind of right there. So that's actually really good. Again, really simple, really easy to kind of go over the story. Of course, you know, it goes exciting and stuff like that. It kind of gets Gales in the, you know, just some kind of being like overpowered out smart a little bit. I guess because Gary's a bit longer trainer than um, he kind of was. But again, you Pokemon, they always are. They grow up all the same age anyway, though. So yeah, pretty good episode so far. Again, the, um, I felt uh, maybe because I thought it was like, hey, we're going to have unfeds, we're going to have Snivy and so uh, all that stuff. Because again, the place is big, though. So of course, it makes sense. Like all the other Pokemon were doing whatever. I still have the flying though, they always kind of stick together though, so we didn't see like Star Raptor or like um, Infested and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we got to see a, a lot of good Pokemon here. I mean, just Pokemon they kind of already had here. But yeah, I mean, and they all had their own kind of separate moments in their own episodes in the end of the past couple. So maybe my expectations were a little bit high when this first showed up. But the shock me, the first part of the shock me was Bubble Swing on Charizard. That would complete, that's what completely shocked me, though. So, um, yeah, though, gonna be any video here for sure, though. Again, Go King, I was murdered by him, Gary, and stuff like that. Again, being a little bit more of an experienced trainer. I was like, holy crap, it's kind of cool. And they made the whole center reference with Paul and just in general, like, with um, and, um, and Freddy from Inferno and stuff like that. They just flash, they just flash back to her, back and forth. And so again, it was really good. It was good to see everybody back in um, good shape, though. It's been again years since like, these guys, since like yeah, like the whole gang like being there just since like um, events. So yeah, or Battle Frontier because we did actually bring back all those Pokemon. And Sinnoh, though. Uh, Sinnoh was kind of like, it was Helen and Sinnoh kind of brought. Helen was like icing on the cake, then Sinnoh brought them all back. It was like, yeah, we can see Glalie. I mean, again, we've seen all the other Pokemon in the past had their own time to shine, though, so it kind of makes sense why they had everybody in here. I kind of get that. Um, but yeah, they, they brought Gary back again for like just to, the fire, you know, rain, fire rain, red fire rain from more trees and stuff like that. But, um, look cool. It's good, though. So yeah. So yeah, there's uh, maybe expectations were a little bit high, but not until I see like the Dumpster Journeys or whatever. So yeah. So you got from the comes in. See you guys there though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good job. Good now. Make sure I stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless. All good people coming out. You know, I'm at the top of your really need to. I'm just getting those. Of course. What do you guys think about the episode though? Did you like it? Did you hate it? I think I'm going to scroll a little bit. I'm about to like the episode, but that was actually really good. Um, again, maybe that, my expectations were a little bit too high. But overall, the episode was actually really good. I liked it in general. Um, yeah, though, I'm mean, really not trying to say. Maybe because, again, I think I expected a lot more Pokemon in the episode. That's why I kind of feel shocked. But it's good to see everybody still here, like, counting the numbers. I don't care. Although we get more Ash, you know, Pokemon. Again, um, we already had it, like, Homeland and, like, you know, Battle for it here, Sinnoh, brought them all back, so it makes sense. But yeah, it's also cool that, um, we also had this as well. I mean, seeing other Pokemon. Maybe, again, my expectations were a little bit too high, maybe, but whatever. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Okay, no. Peace out.